Mayor, let's talk about some other things that you have done and tried to do, specifically the transforming Tuscaloosa County legislation. It was uh, a big deal to you. House Bill 600 uh, passed in 2015. Tell us about that. Enlighten our viewers a bit. Specifically, what is that? How does it combine sales tax uh, from the city and the county and the state? Well, the, the beautiful thing about this legislation is over the next 20 years, we're going to be able to invest nearly $400 million in Tuscaloosa County without raising taxes. That's going to help us grow our infrastructure. Structure. We did this in a bipartisan method by working with the county, working with Northport and our legislative delegation in redistributing the three cents of the countywide sales tax. So long story short, we're taking 10% of that tax now, which today generates about eight and a half million dollars a year. We're using that money to go to the bond market, to go out and borrow, to invest in projects that you're going to begin seeing moving um, probably beginning in 18, 19, and 20. It's going to be the McWrights Ferry Road Project, Highway 69 South, uh, Martin Luther King, Jack Warner Parkway, uh, McFarland Boulevard improvements, which will ultimately include adding a third lane to the Woolsey Fennell Bridge. Uh, Highway 69 North um, is another project, Highway 43 North and Mittlary Road. Those are seven projects, about $400 million, that are going to happen over the next five to ten years. Now, for many of us, it was difficult because of the, cause of the state funding crunch, we're having to take local tax dollars to fund state highway projects. But I was proud of Tuscaloosa to come together in this way to make it happen. And I was proud of our city for leading this effort. It's going to truly transform our community. I know a lot of people out there don't, are really frustrated with all the projects going on. That's a good thing. Communities that are dying, communities that are seeing high poverty rates, communities that can't attract jobs, they're the ones don't, that don't have any orange cones out on their streets.